everyone. Today I'm sharing one of my beloved creations. I really, really love this one. And I shared it with you a long time ago, um, I think as a very old video, and I thought it's about time to revive this recipe, which I think it's brilliant, nutritious, exciting, uh, and of course so easy. So I have here one glass of couscous, dried couscous, I'm going to put like that. And then I'm going to sprinkle some salt just lightly and drizzle some olive extra virgin olive oil, right? In the same cup, I'm going to put two cups of boiled water from the kettle. So easy. Around two cups. You can also follow the pack instructions, but I usually get it right with two cups. So this is how you start the salad. And just do it now without thinking. So I've added that. What happens next, I'm going to seal with a cling film. So I'm sealing this with a cling film. Bring this like that from all edges. And I'm going to forget about it. Just put it on the side and it will be just perfect when you need it. All the water will be absorbed and it will be cooked just like that. So we'll put this on the side now and we'll start with the dressing. So as we're seeking here or we're after the North African flavors, we're talking about Morocco, Tunisia, even Libya. This is a staple there. I, I'm not sure if you see. Yeah. So this is the harissa paste. It's, it's like a chili paste, but of course with their uh, unique flavors and spices and it adds a lot to this dish now the quantity it really depends on everyone if you like bold flavors you enjoy spicy food put more i'm going to put this amount you can call this like one full one full teaspoon so this is the base of my dressing coming up next is balsamic vinegar to give me this sweet sharp taste sweet and tangy taste I don't do I don't work with quantities I think you know that by now of course we'll have olive oil we're making a dressing and this is also a base the base for North Af African food and actually any food I adore olive oil so comes when you think about tagines and you think about Moroccan flavors cinnamon and cumin right are always present so we'll go with that about one teaspoon of cinnamon like that and one teaspoon of cumin like that right paprika is also very desirable here so i'm going to put about also like one teaspoon it's a big quantity it's, it's a big salad you have a lot of ingredients that needs to be coated with this dressing and so just be generous with the spices and with the harissa i leave it up to you how spicy you want it is up to you salt is important here and of course black pepper like that and we're going to just start to stir them all together like that you will have a dark color of dressing that is the longer you leave it it will be infused now see the consistency can you see the color here okay so we leave this now on the side we're in the grilling part see no actual cooking really and now it's grilling we want to grill see all this chopping board see my wood my chop board i have here it's piled with vegetables here you can add more you can add less the vegetables i'm using we have eggplant that i just cut it long like that without peeling we have zucchini or courgettes or marrows it will work i have some red peppers of course you can put also other colored peppers capsicums like green or yellow and I have some 
just not too much onion slices and I want it to be also grilled. I have here spinach leaves. So this is all the vegetables that it's going to go into my salad. How we start that? So I experimented a lot with the grilling and it depends really on what you have um, uh, in your kitchen. So I tried it with just baking in the oven. I've tried it pan grilled. So just what when I did when I do the baking part like I mean like oven grilling make sure not to overdo it we don't want to end up with mushy uh, vegetables especially for the eggplants so after a lot of experimenting I, did, I will go to my good old grilling and I'm going to just as if it's char grilled not overcook I don't want it to be again mushy that's why I, I i'll avoid the oven because it tends to overcook in the oven i'll just have some olive oil here i want to show you now our first batch of the grilled vegetables can you see now this is exactly here this is exactly what I wanted griddles not to um, cook not cook through just like uh, you can say it's seared so that's the eggplant you have here the red peppers and the courgettes here like that right i'll continue with the highlight of the ingredients which i love and it adds a lot is these apricots that's why i said in ramadan you can use and of course you can also use prunes i'm so used to the apricot and just dried apricots and i actually just like to lightly grill so it will be towards the end i will toast them on my grill for an added caramelized flavor i'm putting now you can see i'm, I'm putting trying to squeeze them in uh, just to save time and they're so little and they can easily fit in all of your, um, your gaps in, in the grill and don't leave them long I don't want them to be burnt just slightly charred okay I'll show you now the paprika you can see some that's what I mean some marks you don't need more than that they can easily completely burn so this is about enough just some toasting like that and we take them off. so here we are we're at the final step which is everything actually it's the fun part it's just the mixing part so our couscous remember when we it was the first thing we did here i'm going to remove the cling film and show you how it's cooked through always in couscous you have to fluff it with a fork so it's perfect to start as the base so this is my serving bowl and my salad bowl and I love the size it was from Pottery Barn it is so simple but to get this size it's just perfect so this is a good one cup you can go for half it depends how many you're going to be serving to how many persons you're going to serve I put them all I just put it all here my salad um what do you call that when i'm fourth it was a gift from the very dear friend amina and they actually go very well with the moroccan style it's just so elegant and that's the base that's the couscous here all right huh? what comes next will be my spinach leaves I just washed them, some baby spinach leaves. Again, quantity, it's just up to you. You can put more or less of anything you want. Okay, and I'm sure you can come up with many variations for this dish. So it's just that throughout every ingredient, just try to mix thoroughly. Um, there's a lot of ingredients, so it's good to mix everything. Okay, so I can add some more greens here like that what comes next would be my 
vegetables. So I have the eggplants here. I've already cut them. And then I will go for the red pepper, onions, and I will leave the apricot together. So this is the zucchini. And this is the grilled onion. Like that. So I only left on the side is the apricot, which I'm going to leave it till the end. I also, so the onion was half grilled and I put some fresh onion for a kick, you know, you need that uh, for something grow and to just give it a nice kick. So this is just half an onion that I just chopped it, right, here and start mixing. We have one, another ingredient coming up. You can see the colors already, really nice. Okay. Um, so what's coming next is the chickpeas, just from the can. That's about a little less than one can of um, chickpeas. I just washed and drained. Again, going through here, right? Now I'm going to add my dressing. This will get them all together and you need the silkiness and the moist to help with the mixing. So just that, I'm very generous. You can see we have the quantity of salad. So it will definitely hold this dressing right. Dressing is here and gently coat it to immediately give it a nice color the harissa paste you can add the apricots here again you can add more these were about six i think yeah these were about six apricots you can add it more to that you can add more Okay, and lastly is the some toasted, roasted, that's roasted in the oven, almonds for a bit of crunch. I think anyone would just fall in love with it. Heaps and heaps of vegetables, perfect for barbecues. Remember in your next barbecue, this would be your side dish. You can add other dried fruits, it will go perfectly well. With the figs, it can dried figs. You have the prunes, all of these Ramadan um, goodies we stocked up, you know, our pantry with can be used in this salad. I hope you enjoy this Moorish um, nourishing salad. You've seen how easy it is. It's a, a wholesome meal on its own. It's a vegetarian heaven, also a vegan heaven. Yeah, I haven't used any dairy or eggs. Side dish again for the for a barbecue and try it on your iftar table if you want to go for a light iftar with your proteins just and a bowl of soup it will definitely go for it see you soon bye